What's going on guys? Back on the video. And if you can read the title, yeah, we're gonna try to make a home made bow. A long bow, so it's not gonna be power enough to get a bird or anything, but let's see if we can get on target with it. We're gonna try our best, so we're gonna go try to find a good stick. And see you guys as we find the good tree. Okay guys, so the entrance of the woods is literally right here. We already found a good tree, but I think it's gonna have to be bigger around than that. But not this big around. It's do us does have to be angled because you know it's a bow. But I'm sure we'll find a good tree. Like that's pretty that's perfect right there, but it's just way too small. This would be perfect. I don't know if it's angled enough. It's a little too big. Just a look. We found it. You guys can't really see it that well, but that should be perfect. So this hatchet is pretty dull because I haven't used it in probably two years. So it's pretty dull. So we're gonna try to cut the tree down as much as possible. So we're gonna try to get it down. There's a tree all laid out. It's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I gotta grab my jacket so I don't forget it. So yeah, there we got our tree. We just gotta trim it down. That should be good. Should be big enough size. Ow, tree's fighting back. Yeah, it should be long enough. It's about three foot. That's kind of what I was looking for. Be a little bit longer. Well, this is a really good size tree for it. So let's get trimming it down. Oh yeah. Shoot. That feels really good. Yeah, I'm just gonna trim this edge up a little bit. Uh, I don't know actually. Wait, so I'm aiming like yeah. So the arrow's gonna be on that side. Honestly, I wish that thing was growing off this side, but it's not the perfect stick, but it's good enough. So I'm gonna get to trimming this and I'll see you guys at the house. All right, guys. So I was like just thinking of if I could build my bow out of something else, cause that one's not gonna work. Cause it's just not built right. It's, it's, it's just not, it's just, it's just not that guy, pal. So I'm gonna use bamboo to build it. We have a lot of bamboo um, by our house. So I'm gonna cut some of this down. See, we got a bunch of bamboo. Find a big, thick one. I jumped the cat up over here the other day, so maybe we'll get attacked by it. I don't know. Building homemade bow goes wrong. Cat attack. Ooh, I see a big one. I don't think that one's gonna work. It's, that's what, this one might work right here. That one might work. I don't know. It's gonna have to be perfectly straight. Let's not fall. That might be bad. Uh, this one, that lively one right there might work. It's gonna have to be a big one. Big and lively one. We don't want scrawny dead one. Like this one. Watch this. Oh. Never mind. That's not scrawny or dead. It's dead, but. Oh, this one's already bent. This one's already kind of bent because it's been toppled over and just being bent for so long. Or that one. Let's see which one we might want to use. I think I might want to use this one. It looks more lively than that one a little bit. That one looks like it's got a more of a, like a better bend to it than that one. I don't know. I'm not a bow expert. Yeah, we're going to have to use that one. Right there. Looks pretty good, so let's get to chopping. Oh, no. We done messed up. I'm going to have to grab the loppers. That's not going to work. Say against the tree here. It's not as bent as it was, but it's not much, but it's honest work. So see you guys back at the house. We can properly cut it to where it's like nice and smooth. So see you guys back at the house. All right, so now that we're back at the house, we got the loppers. So we're gonna cut this to where it's actually smooth. Perfect. One little cut. Perfect. Yo, that's kind of like smooth right there. All right, so now we're gonna have to trim these like little sticks sticking out of it. This one could be where the arrow goes, but it's kind of high up, hold up. I'm gonna hold it like that. I can always trim it like one more down and the arrow can just kind of like be held right there. That's actually a pretty big IQ right there. All right, well, we gotta trim this thing down one more little link. Oh my god, that sounds so satisfying. Holy. <gasps> that sounded so satisfying, bro. We can use this for something. Maybe we can make our air. Bad idea. 
All right, this is where our arrow is gonna go. So we're gonna cut it at the links on there. We'll trim that other one right there a little bit once we get done. Little big, that's like six foot tall probably. Nah, more than six foot. Maybe we should cut it down to two lengths or like three and a half. Cause that's like really big. Our rubber bands are almost so big. I mean, we are gonna cut that. Let's see. That thing's only going like half. Oh my God. We're gonna have to cut these down a little bit. We'll cut them three quarters of a link. There's one. That one cut really bad. That's probably a good size. Yeah, I can rock with that. That's... And now I'm noticing this end's a bit bigger, I think. Hold up. All right, so that's my, in my entire arm length. This one's a bit bigger. So we're going to have to cut this one down to the link. It's a little bit taller than the link. So then that'll be good. Perfect. Let's test. And I think we got ourselves a little bow action right there. All right, so we just gotta trim this little piece off so we have a place for our arrow to go. Try not to cut that big one there. That should be good. Pretty well trimmed. We just have to do a little bit more up here and we should be ready to put our rubber band on. So let's cut this thing. Oh wow, I cut a lot better than I thought it would. All right, so should be able to stretch this thing all the way. Oh my God, freaking scared me, ball. Oh yeah, that's good. Well, not, I mean, of course we're gonna tie it around a bunch. So I need to figure out how we're gonna do that first. I have an idea. All right, so we need to get our knife out again. All right, so we're gonna make sure we're gonna cut it the right way. So if we're holding it like this, we're gonna have to be that's not working. Maybe I'll just slit our little thing through there. Oh my God, that worked. That's perfect. I'm just gonna tie this thing around. Yes. Yes, it's working. It's working. Dude, this thing's actually gonna be kind of dope. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh my god, that actually went in. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, okay. I was like, yo, that works. Let's wrap this around there. Let's just tie this around like that. Well, not tie it, but we'll like put it through there. That works too. This is, this is the most scuffed thing I've ever seen, bro. Just look at that. Like it kind of works too. It's got a bit of a bow to it. Not a lot. I'm going to grab an arrow and see if I can't shoot this thing. That's a pretty quick arrow for a rubber band. I just aimed so far on the right. This thing's so weak. Time to tighten it up a little bit more. No, we'll do this end. This end is a lot more slack. This is pretty tight. This is probably like a full drawing. Like 20 pounds. <laughs> All right, let's see. This also helps to keep the arrow in a bit more. <sighs> Come on, go in, thank you. Okay, that was a bit more on to the target. It was a bit more straight. Oh, that was so close. Oh my God, that went so far. 
Who's in there anyway? Oh, that one went straight this time! What? There's one, there's one right there. We missed. Oh! We were this close! We're like eight inches from it. Okay, that is the tightest we're gonna get this thing. Good lord, that thing's hard to pull back. This is like my real bow, holy crap. All right, if we can get Luna to shut up, we might be able to hit it. Here goes nothing. Well, that broke. I should not have tied it more. What the heck, Luna? Squeaky head. Ah, oh my god. I'm aiming that way! And the air is going like that way! What the heck? Oh, the freaking wind. Oh my god, if we didn't aim that high. Excuse me, I'm literally aiming straight that way. And the arrow is going like five feet that way. I aimed so low. This thing must be like angled up or something because that is going really high. Oh my god, not high enough. The one time I don't aim, and then I don't aim that high. Oh my god, that would have been perfect! Ah! No! I moved it closer and I still missed. Oh, I could literally be like right here and I miss it. Watch. I'm literally gonna be two feet away and we're gonna hit it. And we're, not, and we're gonna miss it. Watch. What did I tell you guys? I can do it from right here and I probably missed. This thing is inaccurate as can be. Oh wait, why don't I do this to begin with? Aim the arrow down. That was way too down. Okay, that's... Oh my god. How, how did that happen? Why is it going that way again, bro? We're gonna switch ends. We'll go to the fours. Uh, uh, what? Still haven't hit it. Haven't hit it? Uh -uh. I'm gonna hit it now, probably. It does that every time. Ain't bother. I am! I literally was aiming right here. I was aiming right here, and it went that way. Let me try. Sometimes it'll go high, it'll go low, it's like... Oh, oh my god, it's this close. Oh, that honestly kind of worked. Imagine we hit that without aiming. We've hit that same spot twice. It's gonna be a hassle to edit. Let's hit it here. Play. Holy crap. We freaking hit it. Let's go. That literally took 19 minutes on the dot. And we hit it. Let's see. Can we see where we hit it? Absolutely not. And I don't care. But we hit it. And that is all that matters. Thank you guys for watching this long. Watching me struggle. Hit stupid target with a homemade bamboo bow if you're in a survival situation don't do that just just try to trap something don't don't build that bow it's trash 
you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.